So I, I think there's a couple of um, principles or sort of guiding rules that we could follow that might help one, especially for someone who's new to mindfulness or to mindfulness practices to create a space uh, or cultivate a space that might be more conducive to that. So although mindfulness can be practiced anywhere, uh, we can practice mindfulness when we're doing our day-to-day -day routines, like brushing our teeth and just noticing you know, the sensations uh, that go along with that. I would say in terms of having a formal practice, I think it's, it helps to start uh, small. And first, just to set aside some time. You, know, you don't have to have the perfect cushion or bench, but just creating a space where we can give ourselves permission to have our attention focused on this one thing, especially when this one thing is new. Um, and also as related to that, to just observe the present moment as it is. So again, speaking about attention, uh, when we focus our attention, right? Say for example, if I focus my attention uh, on where my body meets this chair. I can just notice that. And by bringing our attention to the present moment, we're also allowing ourselves to not get caught up in the future or the past. And it's natural when we start a practice as well to have judgments take us out of the moment. We might even have the judgment, I'm not doing this right, or why is this taking so long? Or I don't feel calm at all. I work with many patients who say when they actually try to slow down or be intentional about something like, say, their breathing and to do a brief practice in that way, they might even become more anxious. So I think in this case, it's just sort of accepting that mindfulness is deceptively simple, but in practice, it does take time to feel more comfortable. And in some ways, it's very unnatural for us to just have our attention on any one thing. So we have to let judgments roll by. We can give ourselves permission to take a brief amount of time to get into a, a sort of headspace where we can connect with our own reality as it is. And I do think that being kind to ourselves throughout that process, recognizing that the mind wanders and that it's hard to focus attention is inherently a way that may facilitate uh, the ability to be more present with any one thing. 